Here's Dry Creek Vineyard. This is their Cabernet Sauvignon 2012. And, um, you know, Dry Creek is one of these wineries that's been around since the 70s, early 70s. But they didn't always make cab from Dry Creek. Because um, mostly, you know, Dry Creek is uh, a warmer, warmer climate than uh, other parts of Sonoma or Napa. You know, so uh, traditionally, Zinfandel has been the big grape from that area and uh, Petit Syrah, grapes like that. They can really take the heat. <laughs> but over the years, they've, um, they've planted some hillside vineyards, some terraced vineyards to give the uh, vineyards a little elevation. And so the grapes are all sourced from those uh, hillside benchland vineyards, um, you know, between 800, 11,000, I mean, 1,100 feet of altitude. And so what that does is it allows, you know, the cooling effects to come in at night, cool the vines down, let the grapes um, slow down in their ripening process, even though they're getting hit with beautiful sun all day, and uh, develop a little more slowly take on some nice nuance, some good, intense flavors. Of course, 2012, really, really good vintage. And one where you're gonna, you know, where nature's on your side. <laughs> so, um, mostly Cab, about 88% Cab. They throw a little bit of all the other grapes in there. So there's some Cab Franc, some Merlot, some Tiet Frodo, some Malbec. A little bit of um, seasoning. And they age 20 months in 20% new oak. So. It's got a really nice, sort of warm black currant. Mm. I get a little bit of exotic spice on here. Like, uh, you know, maybe a little hit of curry. Mm. Some licorice on there too. Hmm. It's a nice lively nose. Black plums. <laughs> Let's try it. Very, very tasty. Really supple. I mean, this is a young wine, but this is obviously a wine that's designed to be enjoyed while well, it's young. The tannins are really supple. The flavors are all very, very lively. I get a lot of those black currants, black cherry. Um, that sort of spiciness is still there too. Um, playing off the sort of this more sweeter uh, berry cherry notes. This is a very tasty cab. And, um, you know, it's a little different than those, uh, maybe those blockbusters that you get from Napa all the time. Uh, a little break from that, maybe sometimes, huh? <laughs> Happy drinking. <laughs>